Every physical slap on the child is a psychological slap on the self-image of the child. Every parent, every teacher who hits a child to bring about a change in the child, you will achieve the change, but you lose the child in the process. And that is why we live in a world filled with chartered accountants who have inferiority complexes. MBAs who cannot take an interview with confidence. Doctors who commit suicide because they have a tremendous feeling that they are much less compared to their own wife. That is why we find that with loads and loads of education, people cannot even come and stand in front of a mic and share with the rest what they have learned. Other people conscious, what will others think? And every one of you sitting here, in spite of your prosperity, in spite of your success, in spite of your qualifications, if you are still so other people conscious, what will others think? What they must be commenting about me? How they must be judging me? Every one of you sitting here, who is all the time fighting this war of having to hide your inferiority complex from anybody in the world knowing that you feel inferior about yourself. Those of you who so easily get provoked, So easily provoked. Anything can make you angry. Anything can, somewhere deep within you, you are not at peace with yourself because you don't have a very healthy image about yourself. And in most of those cases, in growing up years, there would have been physical abuse. Every physical hit on a child is a psychological slap on the self-image of the child. So you can shout, you can admonish, you can punish, you can threaten, you can hit, you can inflict fear and achieve the results you want to achieve with the child. And with all the results the child has, the child will still not live the life the child should be living because you have destroyed the image the child has about herself in the process of producing the results. Literally, you have broken every rung of the ladder as you push the child up, not realizing, doesn't matter how much you push the child, because the child does not have a run to support, the child will fall again. And if some of you cannot even explain the sort of confidence, the sort of conviction, the sort of courage, the sort of self-image, the sort of love that you have for yourself, the sort of peace, the sort of acceptance with which you live your life, it's because in all your growing years, your parents have somehow managed to bring you up, knowingly, unknowingly managed to bring you up with your self-image intact. They didn't break you to create you. They preserved you, not knowing how to create you. But that's enough. Your self-image will carry you through in life. 